proceedings with PV at NAM 2015 and the people of Craft Music have asked me to now talk about the new PV 6505 MH mini head. So we've got two here. This is obviously the front, this is obviously the back. We can go through them separately. Uh, it is based on the, the iconic 6505 head, which is a you know, well-known rock metal head. It's, you know, an industry standard really. Um, it's become very popular. So we've, we've done a condensed version, but it isn't compromising really anything apart from the power. The preamp and sound and tone is, is just the same. It's just that it's 20 watts. Um, so we've got two, two channels, the rhythm and lead channel. Uh, first of all, so a decent um, rhythm channel for, for clean stuff. Obviously, that's probably hardly ever used on one of these kind of amps, the six five zero five amp, the kind of music it's played. But um, it is still a versatile amp. It doesn't just do metal; it can do a lot of stuff as well. You've got bright switch if you need that. Probably don't need that with this guitar. But using humbuckers probably need that. The crunch switch, now normally this only switches between two sounds, but on this it is actually foot switchable as well. So I can play clean and then... So that's already two sounds and we haven't even moved off of that channel. But if you want to go to the lead channel, then again it's foot switchable or you can switch it on here. Um, but I'll foot switch it. So that's uh, the gain only on five. So it's an incredibly high gain amp. A passive EQ shared between the two channels on here. What you'd expect on the guitar amp, you know, with passive EQ, it works exactly how you'd expect it to. The post gains are effectively master volumes for each channel to balance up the sound. Then we've got the reverb control. Really nice sound and reverb on here. I'll do that on the clean channel. And you can have loads of it. Foot switch wall as well. Resonance and presence control, it, it, they're really important to this amp, uh, just the same as they are on the, uh, the larger version. Obviously, resonance is the, it's like a, almost like a bass control on the power stage, but it, it does more than that really. It reacts with the, the actual cabinet and the speaker. So it's, kind of, it's, it's different on, on, depending on what kind of cabinet you have it connected to. So it's much more than just an extra bass control. Uh, and the same with the presence really. Um, it's much more powerful than that. And if I go back to the lead channel, I can show you how much range this has got. So it's great for fine tuning your high end. We have the TSI circuit on here, just the same as all our mini heads. Turn that off, you notice the lights are, are red because the effect of the tubes are not actually on now, and now they are. Now, it doesn't just do that, it also is currently sensing whatever is going on with the tubes as far as how much current they're drawing. And if they should draw too much or too little current um, compared to what you would expect, then one or other of these lights will go red. And in actual fault conditions, it will shut down the, the offending tube and then continue to run on the one that is fine. But it will be indicated on here as being red that that needs looking at and needs rebiasing or replacing. But the main thing is that the amp carries on working. So that's the front panel, and we move up to the rear panel, and, and uh, all these features are exactly the same on all our mini heads. We've got the USB out, which is, the sound is derived from the MSDI circuit, which is, is so we say here, mic simulated direct interface. So it's not just a, a, an unfiltered output, which would sound nasty, to be honest. That is a, it's meant to sound like a 12-inch guitar speaker with a, with a SM57 placed in front of it. So it's a good way to either get sound from here to into the desk for, or you know, a stage box for, for live use or you can record from the USB out direct into a computer. We have the foot switching jacks, channel boost, reverb, loop, the effects loop, the speaker defeat switch so that you can turn off the uh, connection to the, to the load and it directs the signal directly to um, the internal load so you can use headphones with it. Impedance switch for 16 or 8 ohms so you can connect to either one or two cabinets. And then a really 
great feature is the power level switch. So you can switch from full power, 20 watts, with using the EL84s inside, five watts or one watt. And that's not actually switching the power down, literally. What it's doing is directing the power to the internal load and, and sending less to the speaker cabinet, meaning you can drive the power stage harder to get that overdriven sound of, of the power valves, which is very different from the preamp valves, but it, it's not necessarily an ear-splitting volume, so it'll be at a controllable volume. So it's really great for recording. You can just sit this in, in the control room, plug it straight into your um, recording system and record away without having to produce too much um, high, of high, high volume, so uh, good for all kind of recording studios, but especially home recording studios. And yeah, they're all the same features on all of the amps. Uh, that's the 6505 MH.